Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you guys some pointers on how to create content for a barbershop. What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys enjoyed that video in the beginning. I have one more for you guys towards the end at the very end of this video. So I hope you guys stick around for that one. I am so excited to be sharing this new kind of content that I'm gonna be creating for you guys. Kind of just walk you guys along how I decided to create these videos or how I come up with certain shots or photos, or why I chose certain shots. So I'm going to be kind of walking you guys through some of the raw footage photos that I shot. Hopefully you guys can learn some tips and pointers from this. Let's say you're creating content for a barbershop. You've never shot at a barbershop. You don't know what you're walking into. Well, my friends, I'm here to save the day. First of all, I wanna get this out of the way. They're fake. I got them at my mom's house. I decided to film today of all days. So ignore my poser so. Anyways, today I'm gonna to be sharing with you guys some pointers on how to create content for a barbershop. I've been shooting content for barbershops off and on for about three years or so. I've learned some things along the way that I think will save you guys some headaches and hopefully help you guys make some happy clients and some monies. I think creating content for a barbershop is way different, has some different elements than shooting content for a coffee shop or a t-shirt brand or a restaurant, whatever it is, I think it's a bit different. And here's my biggest reason why. One of the biggest things that I've heard from other barbershop owners is that when the photographer brings in the package or sends them the file of all the photos and video, they show the customers with halfway done cuts. So what kind of barbershop wants to promote photos or post on their Instagram? These halfway, I'm already getting into it. They just start off with number one, plan. Why? Because it makes you feel more confident. You get to come in to the barbershop with a plan. You know what to expect. It is just a planning. I think it's just crucial. For example, the first thing I do is I go to the barbershop's Instagram, right? I'm assuming you guys already did this. Let me see their, their decorations. Let me see, do they have a brick wall? For example, my client, he had brick walls. So I'm going to see, okay, definitely it makes the barbershop look cool. There's a brick wall. What kind of clients do they have? Is it more of a punk rock or more, maybe more elderly customers, maybe a variety. Do they have a lot of like loud music? Is it very like, just very hype, you know, Friday night kind of thing? Look at what they value, what they stand for. And our goal, our job is to highlight those things. It's just always nice to know what you're walking into. So definitely plan, it's gonna help out a lot. Number two, I can't really title it, but it's, I would say it's a mixture of no one to shoot photos and no one to shoot film and also be observing. Let me explain. Most cuts take about 30 minutes to an hour usually. So that means that for the beginning of the cut, you can't show the entire haircut because it's halfway through. That's kind of what I was talking about in the beginning of the video. So you could be doing a lot more things in the meantime, getting some B-roll, getting some shots of maybe, maybe what you can do is do some close-ups of the clippers some close-ups of the scissors, kind of get some cool little B-roll, some cool like in-between shots. Then maybe you're not gonna show the entire haircut because it doesn't look good, but you can always do some close-ups, kind of showing the barber in his craft doing his thing. Maybe you can show them moving the cape. Outside of the barber shop, product shots, shots of the barbers themselves, I can show you guys blur out the uh, customer, the client, and showcase the barber. You have to be always observing. Look around, look who's finishing up, who just sat on the chair. Kind of have like an order, a mental checklist in your head. This person just got on, so let me wait on them for a little bit and let me hit this barber in the meantime. Oh man, they're about to finish, let me go over there, get some photos real quick, and boom, this person's about to leave. Let me get them walking out the barber chair, you know, standing up, kind of give a vibe, a feel. That tip was all over the place, but I hope you guys were able to grab something out of that tip. Number three is one of my favorite tips that I can give you guys, one of the most important. Make the barber and the client feel comfortable. Even though I know it's my job to shoot them, I'm still gonna ask the barbers and the clients if it's okay for me to film them. I'm always go to the barbers and I go, I, go, I always go to the barbers and I say, hey, you mind if I get some photos real quick, some shots? 
and 99% of the time they're gonna say yes, it's fine, it's okay. What that's gonna do right there is kind of give you that approval to get in all up in there. Now you're like, okay, cool. Now I feel really comfortable. They feel comfortable. Another huge thing, hype them up. Be like, you know, gas them up and be gas them and be like, hey, their heck looks good. That lineup looks super straight. Man, that this lighting, the way it hits your barber chair is just like perfect, dude. What that does, like a domino effect, you get to get some smiles out of clients. You're gonna be able to create connections. What does that mean? It means potentially more customers for you. Overall, content just comes out a hundred times better when you make the barber and the client feel comfortable. That's definitely one of my most important tips I can give you guys. Number four is very simple. It's just don't overshoot. Your future editing self, editor self, is gonna be thanking you. Thank you so much, Lalo, for not shooting a thousand photos when the customer just asked for 30 photos. And that's why the planning is super important because you know what angles you're gonna hit because then you're just gonna overwhelm yourself. You're gonna give yourself more hours of work which has happened to me before, is do yourself a huge favor and to not overshoot. Lastly, number five is to get creative. I just love that. You have to give yourself some room to just on the spot, think of weird shots, random shots, especially when it comes to B-roll. The B-roll is, I feel like it adds the personality to the video. A lot of the time, the same kind of shots, just cutting the hair, different, different customer cutting hair. It can get very repetitive and very just boring and monotone. I feel like the B-roll kind of makes the video. Like those little extra added shots kind of adds personality, adds a different vibe to the shots. So creativity has to come in big on your videos, on your B-roll. Going back to point number four, making your customers and your barber feel comfortable. One of the biggest things, especially in this last shoot that happened, is that this specific barber, he felt really comfortable uh, with me. And he actually was, we were talking about cameras, we were talking about the shooting, you're talking about angles and shots. And that actually opened up opportunity for him to be open and be like, hey, get this shot of me doing the little spray pen thing on the, on the lineup, you know, to make it look darker and spray bottle shooting at the camera. Don't be afraid to ask the barber to do something for you. I hope these tips and little pointers uh, helped you guys out, at least give you guys some kind of a direction to go when it comes to shooting the barbershop or a salon, whatever it is. And please let me know this was helpful. Let me know what your favorite tips or pointers you feel like helped you out. I'm gonna share with you guys one last final video at the end of this outro. So I wanna thank you guys so much for tuning in, videographers, photographers, whatever it is. I hope to be doing more of these kind of videos, kind of walking you guys through how I came up with this content for a brand or business, whatever it is. Please like, subscribe. I can't wait to create more content for you guys this upcoming year. And I'll see you guys around. Have a great rest of your week. Peace out. <laughs>